Let's make whipped feta dip. First, you're gonna add tomatoes, olive oil, salt and pepper into a baking pan, and you're gonna bake at 350 for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna crumble some feta, add some olive oil, cream cheese, and water. That's what makes it extra creamy into a food processor, and process for about two to three minutes. We're gonna add some lemon zest and honey, process again, and now look how creamy that feta dip is. Then we're gonna add the dip to a bowl, and we're gonna garnish it with our roasted tomatoes and olive oil. Now, I like to add it directly to the center of the dip, and make sure you add Add the olive oil all over then we're gonna garnish with some oregano and thyme look how beautiful that is and we're gonna dip some fresh bread in there wow look at my roasted tomato and feta spaghetti went down so well so I thought I'd try a similar recipe using the same technique on an oiled baking tray as your choice of veggies along with a block of feta I went for pepper courgette tomatoes onions and a whole bulb of garlic add some more olive oil dried basil and some chili flakes I also added a splash of balsamic vinegar. Pop that in the oven at 200 degrees for about 45 minutes. When it's done, squeeze your garlic cloves out and then give it a good mix on the tray and add to your choice of pasta. This was absolutely delicious, just as good as the spaghetti. Someone who hates tomatoes, I had to try the feta pasta. Olive oil in the dish and on the tomatoes. Season with oregano, salt and pepper. Insert block of feta. And don't what forget the garlic is like I did. Bake for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. While that cooks, boil water for pasta. This is when I remembered to add garlic. New noodle. noodle. Stir everything together Every and add the cooked pasta. The tomatoes don't taste that bad. I rate this a solid 7.510. One of my most viral recipes is my whipped feta and roasted tomato dip recipe. And today I'm showing you how to make it. Let's go. All you have to do is add crumbled feta, water, olive oil, and cream cheese to a food processor. Then you're going to add in some lemon zest and honey, salt and pepper, and we're going to add it to a bowl. Then we're going to add our roasted tomatoes on top of the feta cheese dip. And there you have it. Full recipe on my Instagram, website, and YouTube. Check it out. Enjoy. Today I'm making the viral feta cheese and tomato pasta that is so popular, feta cheese sold out in Finland. All you have to do is add tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper to a baking dish with some feta cheese, add some olive oil on top with some oregano and then some lemon zest and we're going to bake at 400. Now you're going to add fresh basil on top, mix it all together and add in your favorite type of pasta. Seriously, look how good this looks. For the full recipe, check out my Instagram, website, and YouTube. All links in my bio. Enjoy. I've been seeing this tomato feta pasta all over my FYP, so I had to try it. It's so simple, just some cherry tomatoes, olive oil, salt and pepper, and then your block of feta goes in the middle, and then you bake it at 400 for about 35 minutes while it's making boil your pasta. And then look how beautiful she is. You're going to add basil on top, mix together, and then put in your cooked pasta and mix that in as well. I added mozzarella cheese and breadcrumbs and did a little broil. This exceeded my expectations. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Definitely worth the hype. If you haven't already, try this. What's your favorite position? Feta. <laughs> Do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? I can't do that. <laughs> What's your favorite meal? The band Perry. <laughs> What's your least favorite part about going to the beach? I love all parts of Christmas. Do you drink alcohol? If I asked you to marry me, would you say yes? I've never had my belly button pierced. When's the last time you were at the emergency room? Like three o'clock. <laughs> Where are you going um, Tuesday night? I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> When's the last time you went fishing? Um, six weeks ago. 